As it burns forever, I can't smoke, I can't inhale, I had inhalation issues. So I eat it and use it topically. If I don't have my medication, I start to fall apart. I was here a long time. This was home away from home. I remember uh, one of the first times I took a shower on my own. I bled so much. I remember crying, thinking, is this what it's going to be like for the rest of my existence? Bleeding every time I take a shower. I call it the car wash because it has nice warm water here. They bring in on the gurney. It's going to be a bloody mess. They wash you down. They debris you, which means they're taking off all of the, the scar tissue so that you won't get an infection under. So my body was rejecting the morphine, which was the only thing that was really working, right? So he goes, well, we can try this. What do you think about getting friends to bring you in this, this, and this? Shock the living, you know what, out of me, right? After about two weeks and I've got some friends to bring me in cookies and brownies, he comes in with a big old chart and list and uh, goes off of the fact that the diastolic and contracture levels, my, my blood pressure and contracture levels for my body had dropped significantly. And that was good. You know, he was glad to see this. So when you guys cash your checks at the end of this month, who pays it? Whose account is that coming out of? Federal or state? Because if it's coming out of the state, you guys are not following your constituents. I stand here with people that are hurting and dying, and you guys are not helping us out. You guys have been hurting people for 10 years straight, just waiting like snakes to bite us in the butt. It isn't right that we're being put through this kind of political bullshit. Excuse the language, but it's true. We're just asking for a safe, simple method of being able to take care of our bodies. We get you to state your name for the record. Rudy Reyes, running for 2nd District County Board of Supervisors. I'm running, as you guys all know. I'm looking for that fair and honest election. Are you guys afraid that someone like me might, might win and deceit one of you incumbents that's been on this seat now for 12 years? I decided the best I could do was run for that position. And then with my, what we'll call fire or burn or need, other people started to follow and realize, yeah, this guy's the guy.